Good morning, welcome to Morning Maths, day four. You need your pencil and paper, or your pencil and your maths workbook. We'll get going with day four, make sure you're ready. Year three, question one. It says value of the five in 54 is. So the number 54 looks like this. Or if you draw a picture of it with these blocks, it looks like this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4. So when we put our hats on, we say we've got, let's start this side, we've got 5t, which we say 54. 5t, which means 5 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we have 4 units or 4 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 units, we say. Okay? So that's the number 54. They want to know what the 5 is worth. We know, we know that it's worth five tens, which these, is these blue ones here. It's, the, it's by far the biggest part of the number, isn't it? The 50, the five tens. So our answer is five tens. Five tens, which is, of course, course worth 50, because five times 10 is 50. There we go. That's our answer to question one. Let's move on to question two. It is 3 plus 2. Keep up with the recording, but we'll do these a bit faster now. So you go to 3 on your number line, and you go up 2. 1, 2, you get to 5. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Make sure you're keeping up, copying that down. I'm about to move on to question 3. Question 3. 10 minus 2. So minus means taking things away. 10 minus 2, I'll start on the 10, and I'll take away 2. So I go, take away 1, take away 2, and I'm down to 8. 10 take away 2 equals 8. Pause the video if you need time to record that, your threes. I'm going to be moving on to question 4. So question 4 is 4 times 2. I'll show you what it means. It means you've got 4 or something. Let's get four or something. One, two, three, four. But how many times have you got it? Two times. You've got four, but you've got it two times. At the moment, I've only got four one time. Let's get it another time. There it is again. I've got four again. Okay? So you see how I've got four. Wait a second. See how I've got four one time? And then I've got four two times. How many have I got all together? Is the answer. 4 times 2 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I've got 8, isn't it? I've got 8. So we write down 4 times 2 equals 8. Now you've probably been learning your 2 times table song. So you could also sing your 2 times table song 4 times and see what it was. It's 2, it's 4, it's 6, and then it's 8. And that gets you to 8 as well. But I'll show you what it is. Good to know at this point that times is when you've got something and then you've usually got the same thing more times. Lots of times usually. That's what times is, when you've got the same thing a lot of times. Let's go on to question five. This says 10 divided by two. 10 divided by two. Divide means share. So we get 10 things. Let's just make them the right size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In this case, they are green dots. We get 10 of them and we share them between two. <laughs> I'm just moving the whole thing there. I have to um, ungroup all these if I can, if it lets me. Let's see if this works. No. I'll put them into groups of five somehow. One goes over here. Let's leave those there. One over here. One over here. One over here. That can go with them. Just got to make sure the groups are even. So one, two, three, four, five. Well, equal, not even, equal. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, both groups have five in them. So we can write down 10 divided by two equals five. That's what you should be writing down. 10 divided by two equals five, which means if you've got 10 sweets, you share them between two children, they will get five sweets each. Not that children should eat sweets, of course. I'm sure you never eat sweets. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Let's move on to the year 4 work. Need a bit more space for this. So we're on question 6. You can write the question number for question 6. 
and it's going to be the value of the 8 in 7,589. So you'll put your hats on, units, tens. We don't need it, but hundreds. We don't need it, but thousands. In this case, because they want to know what the 8 is worth. And it's worth 80, 8 tens. Because it's in the tens column. There's an 8 in the tens column, so it's 8 tens. And it's literally 8t, 80. That's why we call it 80, because it's 8t, 8 tens, 80. Okay? That's question 6. We move on to question 7. 348 plus 223. 348 plus 223. Oh, I'm writing it down wrong. Common mistake. 223. If you want to be good at maths, you need to always be watching for your mistakes. Because you will always make them. 348 plus 223. 8 plus 3 is 11. 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 3 plus 2 is 5. Plus makes things bigger, that's why 348 got bigger when we added something to it, and it became 307, it became 571. 571. Pause if you need time to record. I'm, going, I'm giving you a little bit more time than I will in the future to record, but make sure you keep up. And I'm going to be moving on to question 8. 483 minus 251. Make sure the biggest number is on the top in a minus, which it is, because 251 is smaller, 483 is bigger. Then we do our takeaway. There's no borrowing or anything needed or taking needed in this. So 3 take away 1. 3 take away 1 goes down to 2. 8 take away 5. 8 take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 3. And 4 take away 2 is, of course, 2. Number line would go down 1, 2, and you get to 2. 232, because minus makes things smaller. So the number at the top, when you take something away, it gets smaller, and it's become 232. Let's move on to question 9. Question 9 is 35 multiplied by 5. So I'm going to start now to do just the grid method for these multiplication questions, which is the method that you were learning at the end of year three. 35 multiplied by 5 is our next question. So I'm going to split the 35 into 30 and 5. That's called partitioning, isn't it? When you split a number up into its tens and its units. Three tens and five units. 3 tens, 3t, three we call 30. Sounds like 3t, doesn't it? It should really be called 3t, I think, but it's called 30. So we have 30 and we have 5. Multiply both of those by 5. We're going to need our 5 times table for this question. So in this box is 5 times 30 in here. So we do 5 times 3 and we can place a 0. 5 times 3 is 5, 10, 15. But there's a 0 in the question to place, so it becomes 150. Over here we have 5 times 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So times table songs, of course, very helpful for the grid method. We have two answers, 150 and 25. And and in maths means plus. So we put our two answers together, 150 and 25. We get 175 for question 9. The answer is 175. I'm just going to write it here where the question was in the first place, 175. And we we'll move on to question 10. 28 divided by 2. 28 divided by 2. I'm going to remind you with this one of a little um, number line method that you probably used in year 3, if you're a year 4, that is, um, of doing 28 divided by 2. So I could get 28 counters and share them into two groups. The answer would be 14. Fine, I'm not keeping the answer a secret. I just want to show you the methods. Um, you could sing your twos up to 28. You'd run out of times table songs, but if you kept going, I'm sure you could find the answer. Or another way of doing it, there's, of course, the bus stop as well, but another way of doing it is, that's supposed to be one straight line. The mouse just made it go a bit wonky. You could start on zero, 
and you could count up to 28 in twos. Now this is not a really difficult question. I just want to remind you of some methods that you might forget over the years if you don't keep doing them. I'm going to count up in twos to 28. A bit like the song. It's two. Sorry, the mouse is giving me a bit of trouble today. It's four. That's really not very neat. Let's try again. It's two. It's four. It's six. And then it's... I'm sorry I cannot keep up with the speed of the song when I'm doing this. I may be right them all and sing it at the end to check. So we get 10, we get 12, we get 14, 16, hope I'm going to fit them all on, 18, that's 18, 20. <laughs> it's really difficult today. I don't know what's up with the mouse today. Next one is going to be 20 when I finally write it. 20. Uh, in here, 22, and you see I'm out of space. I need to get more on. I need a plan for how I'm going to fix this. I don't think I've got one. Um, that's right about the end. So I'm on 22. What I'm going to do when I've run out of number line, I'm going to continue my number line underneath because I've just run out of space. So 22 goes to 24, and then 26, and then 28. I'm sure you are a lot neater than me because you have the advantage of a pencil rather than having to write with this mouse. Anyway, I've gone from zero up to 28 because 28 was in the question and I'm gonna count in twos. So I just count how many twos fit into 28 because that's what division is. 28 divided by two is how many twos fit into 28. So I go one jump, two jumps, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Start jumping over to here, 12, 13, 14 jumps because 28 divided by 2 equals 14. So I just wanted to show you that. It's an easy question, but I just wanted to show you that 28 divided by 2 is the same as how many 2s fit into 28. It's important to understand what you're doing with division. All right, time to apologize for those fast people, to those fast people, because I didn't move the work down quick enough, did I? Sometimes that happens. Let's start on question 11. I'll actually remove the box now. I don't like to have the box there because that's quite intimidating at the start for all the year threes to see that all that work. I mean, they're only doing the first five questions. That's a bit much for them. So I normally keep some of it covered. But now that we're on the year five level work, anyone who's still with us, I'm sure can handle seeing all this work. Can I move this? No, nope, I'll just keep it there. So we're looking for the value of the four in 234,835. Put my hats on, units, tens, hundreds, thousands. Let's just practice the big hats, which you learn at the start of year five. Tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands. You're probably doing that at lessons now or soon, if not now, learning your bigger hats. This is bigger than what you used in year four. So we've got units, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, and hundreds of thousands. The question just wants to know what the four is worth, and it's worth four thousands because it's in the thousands comma column four thousands four thousands and in digits that is of course four and one two three zeros four thousand of course four thousands is going to be worth four thousand it's not always as simple as that so there's our answer to question 11 and we're on question 12. question 12 is 3,548 plus 4,235. 4, I feel like I'm messier than usual today. I'm just having, the mouse is just playing up a little bit today. That's a nice straight line though. Thanks for that mouse. So, eight plus five. Well, we're year five, so I'll go quite fast. Eight plus five is 13. Four plus three is seven, plus one is eight. Five plus two is seven. Three plus four is seven. This is year five, but it's only really a year four level question. By the end of year fours, we want everyone to be able to do this. Four digits plus four digits. Um, if you can't, you just need more practice. So if you're having trouble with four digits plus four digits addition, practice more, you'll get better. Question 13. Morning maths is all about practice. Practice is what makes you good at things. If you're not good at something in your life, it's just because you haven't practiced enough, so practice more, and it will help. 
4,832 minus 1,371. 2 take away 1 is 1, that was easy. 3 take away 7, not so easy, because if you had 3 sweets, you couldn't give away 7. You need to get some help. It's in the tens column at the moment. We'll borrow from a more powerful column, the hundreds column, or we'll take... 1 from the 8 goes down to a 7, and we can borrow one of these hundreds, because when it comes over here, it's worth 10 tens. So we have 13 instead of 3. 13 tens take away 7 tens, or 13 take away 7 is 6. 7 take away 3 is 4. 3 take away 1 is 3. What did I say? 4 take away 1, that is 3. Of course, this column is really the thousands column. So we're really doing 4,000 take away 1,000 is 3,000. But the zeros are hidden underneath these other digits because it's 4,000 is 1,000. 4,000 take away 1,000 is 3,000. But we say 4 take away 1 just to make it easier while we're doing the method. Let's have a little check at that. Minus makes things smaller. So this number ends up smaller when I take something away. That's a nice check to make sure you've done the wrong sign because I don't know if I've ever seen a child who hasn't done the wrong sign at some point or other in maths. It's such a common mistake, and I know I've done it lots of times. You've probably seen it happen. But if you check, you hopefully will find out that you've done the wrong sign, and you'll fix it. 7,562 times 5. I'll use the standard method for this. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 1, 31. That is a 3. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 3, 28. And 5 times 7 is 35, plus 2, 37. I'll go over what I've done to check and just to make, you know, give you another chance to hear it. 5 times 2 was 10. 5 times 6 was 30, plus 1, 31. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 3, 28. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 2, 37. So we get 37,810. Good. Question 15. <clears throat> this is division. The divisions haven't been very hard so far in year five. They will get harder. All the way through the year, you might do, say, maybe 120 morning maths. Imagine how good you'll be then. And they will get harder gradually over time. So in the end, the difficulty will have been raised quite a lot. So, this is bus stop for division, 4,239 divided by 3, otherwise known as how many 3s in 4,239? Okay, how many 3s in 4 is 1, remainder 1? What we're really saying here is how many 3s in 4,000, because this is 4,000, and it's really 1,000, remainder 1,000, which is 10 hundreds. That might sound quite confusing, that's what we're actually doing. So then we say how many threes in 1,200? This is the hundreds column. But to keep it simple, we say how many threes in 12? 3, 6, 9, 12 is 4. But if you place 0 here, that 4 would be worth 400. So really we're saying how many threes in 1,200 is 400? Next, how many threes in 3? Well, that's easy. It's just 1. Of course, it's really how many threes in 30. It's really 10. If there was a 0 here, it would be 10. How many threes in 9? 3, 6, 9 is 3. So this is, a, this is a method where everything's kind of squeezed together to make it quick and to make it a simpler method. But I like to explain what you're actually doing while you're doing this so you know what's going on with division. And really what's going on is we're finding out how many threes will fit into 4,239. And it was a lot because three is only small and 4,239 is big, isn't it? So the answer was quite big, 1,413. Okay, time for year six, question 16. Value of five in this massive number, which is 5,248,279. Uh, sorry, 379. There's me almost copying the question wrong again. Got to be careful. Put the commas in. The commas make it so much easier to say because you only get commas. Commas either mean thousand or million, or maybe billion, if you had a bigger one. They don't, they don't mean much else. Co that's the only commas you're really going to know. If there's only one comma in a number, it's a thousands comma. So we say, I've been teaching you how to say these numbers because this comes up in a lesson soon. We say 5,248,379.
So when you see a comma, you say a word, okay? 5,248,379. And the rest of it, you say it in bunches. You say it in little groups between the commas. We'll keep going over that each day, so it helps you with saying numbers. Um, they want the value of the five. Well, that's over here. I know that's a millions column. I know that's a millions column. I'll quickly pull the hats on to revise them. Won't do this all year, in year six. Thousands, and then it's tens of thousands. Hope you remember that. Hundreds of thousands, and then comes millions. The biggest column here. It's worth five millions. Five millions. How do you write that as a number? Well, basically, you get the five, and the rest of the digits you change to zeros. That will tell you how many zeros you need to write five million. And it is six zeros. I'm going to put it in brackets under here. Five millions in digits is five with six zeros, which says five million. Uh, one more. One, two, three, four, five, six zeros. Yep. There's the answer to question 16. And we're on question 17. Looks a bit like money, but it's not because it doesn't have the pound sign. So let's see what we get. 248 plus 381. 248 plus 381. That's if it was in money, but decimals, we're supposed to say them like this, 2.48 or 3.81. That's how you say decimals if they're not money, said slightly differently. So 8 plus 1 is 9. 4 plus 8 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 plus 3 plus a little 1 is 6. Plus makes things bigger, and I did get a big answer. 2 and a bit plus 3 and a bit is 6 and a bit. Well, 2, two plus 3 is only 5, but because of the carried one, it goes up to 6. That's just a little check I do. And we'll go to question 18. Thirty-six point three four minus 4.72. 36.34. Four, take away two, that's fine, two. Three, take away seven, we can't do. So borrow from the six, I mean take from the six, goes down to a five. Thirteen, take away seven is six. Five, take away four is one. Three at the front, is that correct? No, because I need the decimal point. So many people forget the decimal point. Minus makes things smaller, 36 and a bit. Take away four and a bit, went down to 31 and a bit. That makes sense to me. Let's go on to question 19. A big multiplication, but it's not really a long multiplication because we're only multiplying by one digit, so it's not that bad. This is just quite a big five digit number at the start. There it is, five digits, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to multiply that by five. That's an easy number. We're going to need a five times table. So this is a bit like five times table practice. Five times seven. <laughs> I'm right, a little three, 35. Five times eight, 40, plus three, 43. Five times nine, 45, plus four, 49. Five times two, 10, plus four, 14. Five times four, 20, plus one, 21. 214,935. If you put commas in, they go three from the end. If you don't understand where to put them, leave them out, because they don't change the number. Just make it easier to say. I'm going to check over what I've done. Don't want to get anything wrong for you. Twenty, yeah, that's it. Two hundred fourteen thousand nine hundred thirty-five. And question twenty. This should be quicker. I actually really like the bus stop for division because when you get good at it, you can get very fast at it. It's a good skill to have, but a lot of people, it's their weakest one out of the big four, plus minus times divide, because they started it last, usually. They've had less practice at it. How many fives in one? Zero, carry the one. How many fives in 18? Five, 10, 15 is three, carry the three. How many fives in 37? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 is seven, remainder two. And how many fives in 25? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We get 3.75. How many fives in 18.75? Well, 3.75. Let's check all the answers. 3.75 and all the rest. Get ready to pause the video if you haven't already. 
And thank you for listening. So I'll see you again next time.